So we're really excited today. We're able to put closure to the church project, the hardscape project we've been working on here. We have 5,000 square feet or 6,000 square feet of pavers. Total, yeah. 250 uh, square feet of wall or sitting wall. We've done a lot of videos prior to this of right. just the details and the different things that we've done on the project and we wanted to just complete that. So I'm Tom Baylor with Baylor Brothers and they asked me to uh, be the general contractor here on this project. So it's a church project and uh, we've got a very good sized congregation and a lot of this was done with volunteer help which was which was beautiful. So between the planmatic grading this place as well as the um, using the street rails. Yep. Um, using the mini screen on mini the far screen side. Where we couldn't get in with the planmatic versus front loading with the head clamp. Yeah, with the, the multi six. Multi bringing six, the block in. bringing a block in. But we made a pattern that we could repeat and it really went incredibly well. So. And we did actually, we had this panel system in one day, one Saturday, we had like six, maybe eight volunteers who had never, never done this, and they literally laid up both sides of that of that long wall. Screening took us a couple days. Yep. I would say two or three days. Laying the pavers took us, you know, four days or whatever it, it was, was there. Yes. Walls probably took us two or three days by the time building the comfort block and things Correct. like that. Correct. And then just obviously the final touches took us a couple Correct. of days as well, but. We weren't on it full time either, so that was it the, wasn't, that was it the wasn't. tricky part, you know, to and add up our hours to know exactly where exactly. we stand. But it, and incredible. probably it is if you were to look at just a few key things as contractors to focus in on. These panels, stones are phenomenal. Your big uh, focus there is to make sure this is poured on concrete. Make sure your concrete is laser level and flat, using the comfort block, which are precise and making sure those are square so that as you can see as different pictures the pavers all come in everything is nice and square so we have there like are... a, our sitting wall with the in stone which is a cool feature and then we have what what do we have we have blue blue 60, blue 60. Yep. the champlain gray mixed in some grandes for kind of a unique right. just because it's such a large format i right. think that's what you designed it more or less and so we put a, uh incorporated this uh louvered pergola but in the middle of winter, summer, when it's blistering hot, you want to be in the shade. And as the sun moves, and it will, it will set in the west. That's why that's there. And this will, it doesn't have it yet, but it does have um, these three center sections will actually have shade screens. We also added in a grill yeah, island. Obviously, was... we're probably going to be doing some grilling out here. There's retaining walls down on this bottom side as well. Yeah. But we kind of want to talk into more or less just how we were able to do it with the volunteer help. Right and you know what made it possible and i think you know a couple things on my end looking in was having some key guys operating the machines because we can yeah, have huge. all of some of our volunteers can operate but right. for the most part they they couldn't right and then the yeah. volunteer help was just simply you know yeah. taking these blocks sliding them into place there's geo grid all up through here and different right. things so there's a lot more entailed into it which we had some more expert guys working on things like Doing that, that. The hydraulic 1000 would, would set three or four block and then all we'd have to do is um, slide them into place put the pins in yep. or if it was the geo grid layer we would carefully set it on the geo grid so, you know there was very little of us at, you know working our backs which uh, that's the whole idea behind this but this really worked out excellent where we kind of had this worked out with a single landing. It's, yeah, it's actually awesome. all the boulders along the side was were done by, by volunteers. There was a, a gentleman that could run a machine. He ran the uh, excavator so he could set the rocks for him. So it, it really was, it was just a great combination as you can see then. And then this leads up to, you can see the pergola up there to, the, to, the, to the large patio. It ties, ties it all together. Yeah, it does. So we wanted to talk into this project and this, it was all permeable. Correct. So we have the, the three quarter, actually in the back, we have two inch stone two inch, yep. with some drainage all, you know, drainage tile inside there yep. going out into the environment. We have our three quarter clean stone and then our number nine, number nine stone on yep. top of that. And maybe just touch on maybe some of the benefits of that. Yeah. So a couple of things. One is um, using the clear stone itself. It's a little bit tricky to get your final, final grade because we know that compacted gravel can keep a grade. But then really the big key is being able to screen the number nines. 
let's say we screeded some and we didn't quite finish laying in one day. We could come back. It wasn't a matter of like sand that would maybe if it sprinkled or rained, it had yeah. zero effect on it. Or even if someone stepped in it a little bit, it was very little impact. Right. So very efficient um, using that and, uh, and then lay the paver. And then we swept it in with, with easy joint. Easy joint, yeah. So, and obviously we used the mini joint filler. That was, machine. yeah, that was a very Which, big help. That covered lots of square footage. I don't know, 6,000 square feet, I think yeah. my shoulder would be shot. Right. We did have to, to use the hydro brooms to just kind of neaten and clean it up for the yep. most part. Especially with your easy joint, which is a lot of water. Yeah. If anyone's not familiar with that, that's another whole, you probably got a... We got a video You got a video on, on that one. That. But that's another whole different process. But at the end of the day, I mean, this easy joint, it is just incredible. This is just rock hard and uh, yet it yeah, will, it'll, it'll let the uh, water through and we actually have it. So if you look at this all the way across, it goes all the way across and this is pitched from there. We do have an exit pipe down there in and, that, down it, in and, and water from here literally does get all the way down and it will run and it goes right to a drain. So that's the other thing about permeable. If it's not a good soil underneath that can drain the water, you do need to have an exit pipe. And this soil around here doesn't drain. We're in New England, we're in Connecticut, and we're gonna get these freeze thaw cycles and water, as everyone knows, is our enemy. And if there's water trapped underneath here, it's gonna boat, it's gonna, it's gonna heave it. We wanna thank each of you for keeping updated throughout our project. We've obviously done quite a few videos prior to this that were more educational. Those links are down below. And we also wanted to thank Tom and obviously your efforts here on this project. It was great work Thank with you. you. Thanks to PTI. If you guys want to watch more of these videos, you can go to our YouTube channel and watch them there as well as Instagram and Facebook or visit our website, pavetool.com.